Well, seven people were arrested after 44 individuals were detained in Turkey for spying on Palestinians. In a joint operation by the Istanbul police and the National Intelligence Organization, they found individuals of leaking information about Palestinian expats in the country to the Israeli intelligence agency known as the Mossad. Turkish authorities had been investigating Istanbul-based, quote, consulting companies, which offered private investigation services for their customers for a while via their contacts with the Israeli agency. The investigation found that the Mossad paid suspects to run surveillance on Palestinians and their NGOs in Turkey. Let's bring in a Dr. Hai Etan Cohen, a Turkey expert at the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security. And he joins me live in studio. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We haven't seen anything like this since the warming of ties, the full reinstitution of the diplomats between mm. Israel and Turkey. So do you think this would impact those ties in any way? Of course, inevitably, it will impact the ties. First of all, I would like to underline uh, the latest cooperation between the Israeli and the Turkish uh, intelligence agencies against the Iranian assassination teams inside uh, Turkey. Of course, we then happened to see a cooperation that was unprecedented since the collapse of the bilateral relations. And now what we are seeing is uh, is the fact that the current normalization is an ambivalent one. Uh, it is reminding me the latest statement of the Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu that uh, Turkey will continue to defend the rights of the Palestinians, but at the same time the Turkish officials are also providing uh, and posing the camps next to the Israeli leaders and the, uh, and the flags. So what we are seeing is a very ambivalent picture, uh, but unfortunately if it is um, if it is authentic, all of these uh, reports, eventually this will uh, create another uh, mistrust between the two intelligence agencies. What kind of information was the Mossad hoping to extract from Palestinians and their non-governmental organizations <clears throat> in a foreign country? According to the re initial reports uh, that are already mentioned in the Turkish uh, media, uh, the Palestinian students who are studying at the Turkish University, which will be most likely to work in the industry of defense, defense industry, uh, they, they are the ones, the suspects uh, of the uh, Mossad, they were the real targets. So uh, as far as I understand, this is, um, this can be considered and tagged as an intelligence operation for the long run and not for the immediate uh, not for the immediate Palestinian or Hamas uh, terrorists there but for the potential uh, terrorists in the future and very quickly, statements from these suspects revealed that their work actually helped the Mossad launch online defamation campaigns and threats <clears throat> against these Palestinians. What was the goal for this objective? Well, uh, it's really interesting because at the end of the day, what we are seeing is that the Turkish intelligence agency foiled an operation, if there is such an operation, against the Palestinians. The Palestinians should not be considered as the crucial interest of the Turkish national security. Uh, they are Palestinians. But at the, at the end, what we are seeing is the Turkish intelligence agency is behaving like the Palestinians are attached to the uh, Turkish national uh, security. And uh, from an Israeli point of view, in my opinion, this is absurd. But again, if even if it's true, uh, this specific uh, this specific accusation is directed against Israel. Yes, but it is only limited within the boundaries of the Palestinians who are living inside Turkey. So if there is such a such a case, of course, uh, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the Israeli Mossad wanted to uh, harm the reputation of the Palestinians uh, in the eyes of the Turkish public. But beyond that, I, I don't have any clue. Dr. Hai Eitan Cohen live in studio with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.